take a quick look at sales tax in Business Central. There's two setup items that we need to take a look at. One is the tax jurisdictions. The other one is the tax areas, which, which combines one or more tax jurisdictions to come up with the correct tax calculation. And then we'll show the sales tax collected report. These are the tax jurisdictions I have set up in my system. Let's take a look at the Florida ones. Here we've got the state of Florida, I've got the county, and then I've got the city of Miami. So if I'm making a sale to a customer in the city of Miami, these three taxes need to be calculated for that sale. Let's take a look at the details on this. If I look at the Dade County sales tax detail, here I've got the tax rates. What I also can do is I can set up separate tax groups. If so, within that jurisdiction, whether it's a state, a county, or a city, and different types of items have different tax rates, I can set that up in Business Central. Next, let's take a look at the tax area. So let's look at Miami, Florida. So Miami, Florida, it's gonna include these three tax jurisdictions we just looked at. Anytime I sell a taxable item, and to a customer in the city of Miami, there are going to be three different tax calculations that take place. Let's take a look at a sales invoice. Here's a sales invoice to a client in Miami. I've got three different items on here. If I scroll over, I can see that I've got the tax area and the tax group code. The tax is being calculated. You can see the total down here. If we look at one of these items, let's look at this one here. We can scroll down and see it belongs to the tax group code furniture. So again, I can have multiple different tax codes and I can use those to generate different tax rates for the different tax jurisdictions. This is a report in Business Central that will show me the tax details that are calculated on my sales. In this case, I'm going to look at the sales to Miami, Florida. I'm going to look at this date period here. There's different report types. There's a summary which combines it all in one line. And then there's normal, it'll break it out by the tax groups and then the detail. Let's run this sales tax report by this tax jurisdiction, Florida. You can look it up here for the state of Florida. Let's run it. So this shows the tax that are invoiced into the tax jurisdiction, Florida. The setup for sales tax in Business Central is pretty straightforward. Out of the box, you will manually update those tax rates. You can also link it to a tax service if you want. Mm -hmm.